Hi everyone, we're going to look today at creating, uh, adding some effects to what we're doing, which is music technology effects. And the two effects that we're going to look at today are reverb and echo. So I'm going to start with my riff. And what you do uh, here is you click straight away on FX effects. Now, effects are used in almost every uh, type really really common in lots of different types of music and they are used in almost every hip-hop track um, now we're going to start with having a look at reverb so what we do is this makes it sound kind of like um, you're shouting in a stairwell or it's in a cave it, it kind of makes it sound quite boomy so we're going to click on add effects we're going to go to reverb and we're going to start with adding space maker now we're going to solo this, we're going to loop our riff, press play. And we want to hear the difference. So while it's playing, I'm going to turn it off and on so you can hear whether it makes it sound a bit boomier. On. be hard for you to hear from my computer but if you have headphones on you can ha hear a really small dis uh, difference so I can make it more obvious by clicking here and making it a larger hall large hall or church and that makes it much you can hear more reverb on it. Now, I can also change these different things, but I would recommend not changing it, fiddling around too much, but I'm gonna show you what, what you can do for that. So if I do medium ambience. That's become a lot more boomy and it's lasted long, especially with the width going up. I think I am happy with this. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Thing is with reverb is it can make things go really wrong if you add way too much of it, especially if you add loads to every single track. So I'm going to stick with that for now and I might come back and change it later. So I'm now going to add another effect. I'm going to add echo. So you go to delay and you can pick one of these two. So I'm going to start with adding this one and listening to this. Okay, so let's have a listen to how this makes it sound and you should hear a sort of echo effect. Right, that doesn't sound right at all. That's just not giving me the right kind of sound that I want. So I'm going to try and work out how to not make the echo last as long. I'm just going to keep it on and mess around with without okay I think I'm mostly happy with that let me hear what it sounds like with the filter echo so I'm going to turn this off and just listen to it with this that's too much so I'm going to mess around with these different things. Right, 
Right, I'm going to listen to both of these and see which one I prefer, okay? So let's start with this one. Or this one. I think I'm preferring the filter echo, so I'm going to keep that here. I'm not going to, I'm going to delete this, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it off. Okay, um, I'm starting to think though that I don't actually like this instrument that's playing my riff. And I have, as I said, I listened to Lady Alicia's quality team speech. So I'm going to try and copy a bit of, a uh, copy of the instrument, or similar sounding instrument to the one that she did. So I'm going to go to percussion. I'm going to go to marimba and see what it sounds like. I think I quite like that. So I'm going to keep it as that. That instrument's a bit quieter, so I might turn the volume up. Right. I'm also going to be adding some um, reverb and some echo to my long bass line. Double click on it, then you want to go to FX. This is how you do it. So you add an effect. Mm, let's go for the reverb first, the space maker. Already, that's sounding so much better. With a little bit of effect on it, it's sounding so much better than it was. So let's go for medium ambiance again. Solo it. Turn this up a bit. No, way too much. Okay, I'm happy with that. Maybe a little bit of delay. Use this one. Nope. I don't like how much there is there. I'm not happy with that. Let me get rid of that. Tiny bit of echo then. Take this right down. Right, I'm happy with that. I think that sounds okay. The only thing is, similar to this, I feel like it's just not quite the right instrument my piece so I'm gonna do I'm gonna have another look at some bases in synth bass and I'm gonna try this one colossal lead now when you have bases sometimes when you pick a new one they can make them sound they can sound too low so if I listen to this now it's really really low it sounds really growly Oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transpose it. Remember we learned how to do that up the octave. So I'm going to press plus 12, okay? Let's go. Let's have a listen to that. Now let's listen to that. Okay. I just think that's more of the right vibe for the piece that I want. down turn this up a little bit more and I'm going to increase the reverb slightly on this see what it sounds like I want it to carry on a little bit longer at the end, so I'm going to just make this note a bit longer by double clicking on it. Go back up to FX. Oops, I believe. 
is it that? Yeah, okay, I can hear it like lasting a little bit longer, so I'm happy with that now. Now, also, what's great about Band Lab and also Garage Band is they have presets, which means they've already thought about what might be, what might sound, what combination of effects might sound good. So, if I wanted to use a preset that's like they've predetermined it, it's a bit like when they make a drum beat and they preload it for you. You go to here, you can look some of the combinations of things and some of these things we're going to learn about some of them are quite complicated so there's lots of different presets and I'm just going to try a preset I'm going to try this one and press solo and I'm listening this is to my syncopated bass <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't like that rhythm I think something's changed it doesn't sound as catchy as the start. Let me listen again. I like that. I like it with that preset on it, so I'm going to keep that. Let's hear what it sounds like together now. of adding those effects, reverb and echo, as well as me starting to change the instruments around a bit, maybe transposing it, maybe putting a few presets. That's, that's really transforming the sound of my piece. Don't forget to press save.